greetings and salutations this is Maze's Realm once again and this is another Modern Warfare 3 commentary and in this commentary I'm going to be covering the new and incredible game mode Face Off. Now before I delve into the specifics of class setups and recommended point streaks and strike packages you should use I want to give a shout out to my great teammate and clan mate Markalinth a shout out I want to thank him specifically for um, having a great session and and having great gameplays together getting these videos ready for you guys to watch and I really do appreciate uh, him being in the clan covert assassins and and being a great teammate so shout out to him thanks again Markland and uh, now I'm gonna jump right in to how to conquer your opponents in this new amazing game mode face off now to start out with the the modes you'll be playing within face-offs are currently kill confirmed and team deathmatch that being said depending on which uh, map you are playing that will determine what type of gun you should use and proficiency you should use along with specific perk setups now for this particular map which happens to be my favorite of the four maps that have been released getaway uh, submachine guns and assault rifles with high rates of fire like the scar L or the FAD work very very well in this map because a lot of the sight lines are close quarters to medium range so those types of assault rifles perform best in this map submachine guns you could change it up to whichever one you prefer um, the PM9 works well in this map, the MP7 works well in this map, and uh, the MP5 work really well in this map as well. So, just, it's basically your choice as to which one you want to use. I basically uh, chose the MP7 because of its accuracy and the ability that it has to have most of its shots be on point at a little bit of a longer range. Uh, so, you're basically never out of a gunfight um, with this gun so uh, if you are going to use the mp7 use it with range and a suppressor that will definitely help you win most of your gunfight if you're trying to keep things more close quarters and you're not much of a rusher go for focus on it and um, also try using stalker as your perks uh, uh, as one of your perks on your setup if you're a little bit more of a rusher my personal suggestion is play passive aggressive do not rush the enemy unnecessarily because you'll end up killing him and he'll end up spawning behind you and killing you and your teammate and you cannot afford in this particular game mode you cannot afford to give the enemy any free kills on spawns simply because the score limit is 3100 on team deathmatch and on kill confirmed it is 30 dog tag captures so remember that you want to basically patrol half of the map cut the map in half and rush up to the halfway point as you see here I'm not rushing past these staircases into the the lawn and and the patio area because uh, the enemy will start spawning behind you if you're not careful so rush when needed up to that point so that you and your teammate are safe as far as your flank is concerned now for your perks if you're gonna be playing with this type of uh, play style which is the one that I would strongly recommend I would recommend scavenger and assassin as your first two perks and dead silence as your third and the reason why this will work on this particular type of map like getaway or erosion is because of the close quarters type of combat that it has 
and the surfaces that those maps have are hard surfaces so footsteps are extra loud on those two particular maps on the other map a ground and lookout there is more ambient sound on those maps so stalker you could get away with but I would still recommend dead silence because of the basic height issues that the maps have and different flanking routes that if you take damage you will not die if you have dead silence pro equipped because you could take uh, fall I mean you won't take fall damage I should say so you will not give the enemy any assisted suicide kills so keep that in mind as well um, in reference to the perk setups as far as your point streaks are concerned and your strike packages I would strongly recommend lower point streaks like UAVs, counter UAVs, and advanced UAVs if you're using support. And if you're using assault, definitely stick with a UAV, uh, things like a sentry gun or a chopper, those types of things. But to be honest, I would recommend kill streaks that you don't really have to worry about stacking up that much. Um, with support, if you die and you take the death, it's okay because you will still get your next kill streak. And on top of that, you will not have to keep in mind that, oh my gosh, I have like two more kills before I get a pred or two more kills before I get an assault helicopter. That type of stuff you don't want to have to have in mind when you're trying to keep in mind that your enemy can be in any corner, anywhere, and you can be flanked at any time. You want to keep your mind on the task at hand. So you want to keep things like uh, support strike packages and definitely another good option would be to throw on the specialist strike package. So you could uh, stack up some more perks that will be very useful. Um, if you are using the uh, specialist strike package, strongly recommend uh, uh, sit rep either sleight of hand if you're using scavenger or recon and um, definitely throw on blast shield. Blast shield will save you a lot if you're dominating the other team you'll run into dead man's hand or, or, or explosives a lot so you have to be careful and mindful of that and that's why I strongly recommend that you use those three perks that I just mentioned or four perks I should say as your strike package as your perks on your strike package if you're using a specialist strike package so keep that in mind as well and also communication is absolutely key in this game mode you need to constantly be communicating with your teammate because when he dies and depending on where on the map you are that will determine where the enemy is going to come from uh, which areas you have to watch out for keep an eye for the skulls where your teammate died and and literally that is the best advice I can give you guys for kill confirmed and team deathmatch on face off so uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this game mode as much as I am and I will be covering more on this game mode so stay tuned and until next time this has been Maze's Realm I'm out